Hey, welcome back to the channel. Hey, today what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about some safety prevention that you can take while you're out fishing in the summertime here. Uh, and the first one we want to talk about is do you know what animal kills more people across the globe every year than every other animal? Across the globe every year, the animal that kills more than animals than actually every other animal combined is a mosquito. West Nile virus, malaria, and other diseases across the globe to kill thousands of people every year. Now here in the United States, a first world country, still, so far, but anyway, here in the United States, um, malaria and West Nile virus and things of that nature aren't quite as rampant and common as they are in African nations. But I've not, I, thus far I haven't gotten sick from mosquito bite as many times as I have been bitten, but they still are aggravating, they are a pain, and they are annoying. So I carry Repel 40% beat in the travel size in my bags, uh, wherever I go. Um, any insect repellent really will work, mosquito repellent. You just want to make sure it's got beat in the content. Uh, beat also works for, uh, this is mosquito and tick, and we have Lyme disease here. That is a disease that we do have in the United States by an insect. They're caused by deer, deer ticks. So the Rebel with Beet is a mosquito and tick repellent. This is a spray-on pump. Spray a few squirts. Keep the mosquitoes and the ticks off of you. Keep you from getting sick. And keep you from doing this all day that gets annoying too uh the next one that we want to talk about is hydration it is important especially this time of year as it gets hot outside it is very hot today it was very hot yesterday i probably got a little dehydrated yesterday fishing if you saw that video but uh so i carry some water this is smart water I'm not sponsored by them it's not a uh it's not even a recommendation i water is water this just happened to be the biggest bottle they had at the store to carry so it's hot outside i wanted a lot of water now i know a lot of you probably saw maybe you saw it on the thumbnail or guessed what uh, the last thing in this video is and like i said i carry insect repellent hydration repellent and one of the last things that I started carrying in urban areas is crackhead junkie repellent. I have been approached by a couple of people uh, while out fishing in an urban area that uh, were of um, shady, reputable personalities, maybe. Uh, Thus far, I've never had a reason to actually draw a gun on anybody, thankfully, because it's actually something I hope I never have to do. Um, but it's like a condom. I'd rather have it and not need it and need it and not have it. If anyone was to try to harm me or rob me or, you know, hurt or kill me in any way, then uh, I'm going to fight for my life. And I, I suspect anybody's going to do the same. Um... Now, I know what a lot of you gun guys are talking about. A six-shot snub nose revolver. Well, you're not going to be in much of a firefight with that. Uh, yeah, hopefully. Uh, I don't hunt terrorists. I don't chase down bad guys. I'm not a police officer. I'm not a soldier. This is just to keep anybody approaching me trying to take my stuff or my life. So, uh, Pennsylvania is an open carry state. You can open carry here while you're fishing or out and uh, you can conceal carry if you have a LTC license to carry firearms in, in public here uh, or what's called a CCW conceal carry weapons permit in other states uh, Pennsylvania is actually still relatively it's not a, a big process to get that what you have to do is you have to uh, go to your local county sheriff's department you have to fill out the application and hand it in to the sheriff's department there to do the interview and then i think it's like a 20 dollars processing fee and then as long as everything comes back okay you know you uh 
you're a person of strong, moral, reputable character or something like that, I think it says. And uh, you don't have any criminal record on your background. Eight to ten days, they mow you your uh, license to carry. But that's Pennsylvania. Uh, not every state's an open carry. Not every state's an open carry state. So be sure to check the rules and regulations in your area. Uh, nobody needs to get in any legal trouble either. Okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna load this up, take a couple of shots downfield, downfield, downrange. Take a couple of shots downrange. Uh, at this distance, we're 25 yards away right now. This is uh, a 25 yard range from this table to the uh, targets we've got set up there. We'll take a couple of shots at this distance to see what we can hit. This is a pretty big distance with a two and a half inch barrel. So if I hit it once, then that's probably gonna be enough in any circumstance. Uh, probably not gonna shoot bad guys uh, from 25 yards in most cases. And hopefully you never shoot bad guys from any distance. That is my hope. That is my goal is to never, ever have to use this. It's just there in case I ever, ever have to. Have to. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, unlike the condom, I hope and pray I never have to pull this out and use it. While the condom, I was usually hoping the other way around. But hey, let's put on some safety uh, safety gear and take a, few, a couple, take a few shots, load her up and take a few shots down range. Here's some another prevention, deafness prevention. We're here in protection. I've had some powder come back, burn me a little bit on the, eh? and they're your eyes. You only get two, one pair of them. That's all you get. So we're gonna take some protections for that as well. Okay. I'm gonna load this singular right now. I carry two speed strips on me with six shots each so i have 12 extra shots and then six in the gun like i said i don't chase bad guys so i'm not looking to get in a firefight i'm looking to protect myself if i have to and then if that instance does arise i'm looking for cover put out the first shot on single action so i can make the first shot count because i think in any situation you want the first shot to count hopefully the first shot lands and i can get the heck out of there so single action Double action. No good thing to me about carrying a revolver or using a revolver at the range is the brass stays with a gun. I don't know. I'm getting old to bend over and pick up brass. If it's smack, all the brass is out. Right there in a nice, neat little pile for when we get ready to go home. We're gonna move the camera down range a little bit. And uh, we're gonna get about 10 or 15 yards away, put the uh, the camera on zoom, and then show them the, the targets here where they're actually being hit. Like I said, I carry uh, speed strips when I'm out. I carry two of these, so I've got 12 extra shots and six in the gun, so 18 shots total, which I know is one clip for a lot of semi-autos. 
Um, but like I said, I don't hunt terrorists. I don't chase down bad guys. I don't need 100 shots, hopefully. It's, this is just to keep uh, some crackhead junkie sleeping under a bridge who wants to try to you know, steal from me and pawn my stuff. Yeah, I've had that happen. Not here, not recently, thank God, when I was younger. Um, so, well, what we're going to do today is, what we're going to do right now is we're going to load this up with the speed trigger real quick, and we'll show you how that works. And then we're going to fire off six of these uh, carrying shots that carry hollow tips, because I don't want my shot going through somebody and into some innocent bystander or through a wall if it's home protection and through a room where a kid might be. Now hopefully, like I said, I hope I never ever, ever have to do any of these things. Um, it's just if you put anybody in a situation where it's you or them, it's you every time. I'm, I'm going to choose my life over yours and I don't feel sorry about that. But here, I'll show you real quick how we're going to uh, speed load these. <laughs> speed load. I know. Speed loaded. <laughs> Done. But I, uh, this is easily concealed. It's kind of bumpy and lumpy. Doesn't profile, which is also uh, something nice. So we're going to show you how to use the speed strips on this. Uh, there are a lot of other experts on YouTube who are a lot better at this than me. So if you want to watch them, I'll leave a link in the description box below for a couple of other people who have reviewed this gun. All right, let's load up, shoot six hollow points, and then we're going to get out of here. Start from the top. Two. Three. And the gun's loaded. You're ready to go. Uh, let's put on some hearing protection. Take a couple shots down range. 